All right, I'm going to talk about a subject <clears throat> which should have everybody horrified. Um, and this subject is the youth. Specifically, this new generation. Apparently, you have a new generation pop up uh, once every 15 years. Um, I think the baby boomer span was longer, and I think Generation Y was shorter, basically because the further along we go, the more things accelerate. So anyways, there's a new generation called Generation Alpha. Um, I guess because it comes after, uh... Gen Z, okay? Now, this generation is causing teachers to quit like never before. This generation, many of them in 7th grade, 6th grade, 8th grade, whatever, cannot read and cannot write, okay? Um... These kids have turned a lot of a lot of the classrooms now are just chaotic war zones. And of course, you can't uh suspend the kid because of all this woke shit going on. Okay? Um so yeah, suspensions are possibly down, but you know, there's ten times as many fights or whatever. People are more scared now of the younger kids. They used to be scared of, you know, the older kids are going to bully you. Now they're scared of the younger kids. Okay, because they're just so fucking psychotic. Now, they may be called Generation Alpha, but I would refer to them... As generation monster or beast. Why? Well, this generate this generation's parents are uh, millennials. And what do we know about the millennials? Well, the millennials are the children of the baby boomers. And, of course, the baby boomers are the biggest pile of shit to ever hit the world. Um, or at least this country. Their greed has totally ruined the economy. Um, this generation has ushered in pedophilia. Um... Just, yeah, just horrible, horrible people. And so they they ruin the economy with their greed. Okay? Um, so many of them have gone into debt and just never paid it back. And uh, they just don't give a shit about... You know, they'd rather, they'd rather worry about eating in a five-star... Go, go to a five-star restaurant. I'd be damned if you see somebody in there that's not a baby boomer. They're more worried about eating on, eating in five-star restaurants, um, going on five-star cruises, you know, uh, Mercedes Benz and, and yachts and just all types of shit, okay? Um, they're not worried about giving their kids, leaving their kids a good economy, leaving their kids a good country. They don't like us. They're the most disgusting, despicable people that you will ever come across, okay? So they left us economically in shambles. And so that's the perfect opportunity for these outer beings and these just these evil creatures throughout the universe to sneak in and with their money be able to breed with the women of my generation now i'll say this 
the women of my generation are complete shit too. Just like the men of Gen, Gen Y or Gen Z, excuse me, are complete shit. Now the women of Generation Z are great. Just like the the men of my generation were great. Um, so you have these women from the millennials who are pieces of shit. Um, and so, of course, they're going to lay down and breed with these outer beings who have all this money. Um, you know, avatars of Leviathan, avatars of Behemoth, um, who are also very high up. In the whole food chain of evil. Okay. Um, so. This is why your kids. Uh, probably why you're. Why these gen, gen alpha. A.K.A. gen monster. Um, are so. Monstrous. This is why. They watch skibbity toilet. Okay, because really the leader of all the monsters is Nyarlathotep. I, I need to get into another video explaining kind of how that works, how Nyarlathotep, who isn't really even that powerful, um, is kind of on top. Well, but that I'm not going to explain that right now. Um, so anyways, that'll take a whole, a whole video itself uh, that hopefully I'll make soon. So anyways, um, yeah, these kids now, man, like, it, you'll have teachers who've been working for 25 fucking years, who just can't deal with these kids, um, teachers who it's their first year, who have plenty of energy, can't deal with these kids, didn't know what they were getting themselves into, dance instructors, okay, um, supposedly you have these Sephora girls. I guess there's a really, uh, expensive makeup and maybe jewelry too. I think just makeup and skincare and shit. Um, and you'll have all these little girls who go in there. Okay, a line of little, little, look it up, Sephora girls. Okay, these little girls who are under the age of 10 buying all this anti-wrinkle cream. Weird shit. Fucked up, bizarre shit going on. Um, yeah, you have, uh, you have these little boys who now are super hypersexualized. And, um, I'm saying, yeah, not only turned, you know, school into a war zone, but also, you know, uh, a molest zone. And what's so fucked up about all this is you can go on YouTube and look up these videos and you will have what really appears to be kids who are of this generation who are scared themselves of their own generation. Maybe they're not, uh, you know, products of the whole breed out humanity uh, program. You know, that these outer beings and these uh, chaos gods or whatever are engaged in. And so these these little kids too, they, they feel empowered. Because why? Well, fucking Nyarlathotep is, is in control. A lot of these kids miss COVID. When Nyarlathotep reigned supreme. Oh yeah, they wish they could go back to that. They are completely fucked up in the head. You will even have Generation Gen Z, which I see these kids all the time at the club. And they are f really fucked up in the head themselves. But even they say they're scared of this new generation, of ge Generation Alpha.
and that they that they watch brain rot. These are the kids who, the Gen Z. These are the kid, you know, uh, SpongeBob. You know, so for them, SpongeBob is like fucking uh, Ben Hur or something. SpongeBob is, uh, you know, the Ten Commandments or. <laughs> on the waterfront or something compared to skibbity toilet have y'all watched this shit and this this has even entered these memes in this bizarre fucked up show on youtube is now entering into their lexicon entering into their the they use this word skibbity it can mean good it can mean bad if it's the first word you're saying, you know that after after somebody says skibbity, there's going to be some raunchy shit being said. Just really fucking bizarre, scary shit. That this is what they're becoming. So yeah, look it up. Um, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube about it. Teachers... Giving their testimony, t testimonials, you know, getting their equipment stole, getting shit thrown at them, getting beat up by kids. Um, you know, you got kids fighting all day. You can't suspend them um, because, yeah, the whole woke thing, you know, oh, it's because my son's black rah, or whatever. Um, also, teacher, I mean, excuse me, parents. Who expect the teachers to do the parenting. Parents who are blaming the teachers for their kids not being well behaved. Oh yeah. Really fucked up. You thought Gen Z was bad? <laughs> Look it up. I mean it's it's the the quote unquote evolution or de evolution of generation z another thing they want to blame all this stuff on technology it's all technology's fault it's the gun's fault it's not the person who pulled the trigger it's the technology's fault not the woman who allowed herself to uh, be filmed being naked, getting uh, electrocuted and um, sodomized on camera. No. It is the actual technology's fault. They're mad at technology. They thought this was going to destroy us. No, it's going to fucking destroy.